Ever since the first silent flicks hit the screens, we've loved movies. And thank goodness our movie experience today is a lot better than these grainy old pictures. But the holy grail of filmmakers has been to create realistic 3D films without those hokey red and green glasses. Well, prepare yourself, because a stunning new 3D experience is coming to a cinema near you. To find out more, I've come to the heart of making movies, Hollywood, to meet some of the key players behind what could be a new era of cinema. To understand the new 3D vision, first you need to take a look at the digital filmmaking revolution that's sneaking up on Hollywood. For a hundred years, movies have been made and projected on film. But now, digital technology is giving this century-old tradition a run for its money. Digital technology, nothing new. It's all around us, from our cameras, MP3s to PDAs. But surprisingly, it's still a novelty on the movie sets, and only a handful of directors have chosen to use it. And one of these is James Cameron, director of Aliens, The Terminator and Titanic. Not only is he an Academy Award-winning director, he's also a digital film-making pioneer. Executive producer Andrew White has worked with Cameron on a series of documentaries shot with digital technology. All the films that I've uh, made with Jim have all been about new technology, either new camera technology, new ways of capturing uh, our film, and also the technology embodied in the expeditions we've undertaken. Right, can you switch on path number two? Yeah, we've dived down to 16,000 feet on the Bismarck shipwreck in the North Sea, onto the Titanic, the hydrothermal vents, all of which required the building of, you know, very sophisticated equipment to enable us to capture the films. I think for Jim, if there's not new technology involved, he's much less interested in, in what we're doing. Where's, where's the show? Yeah, one, two, three. For directors like James Cameron, digital means you can shoot for longer, use smaller, more flexible cameras and immediately play back what you've filmed. But what's in it for you and me? Well, for starters, perfect picture quality every time you go to the movies. Here's a demo of how easy it is to damage film. Here's a perfectly clean piece of footage, and when we put it up on a projector, no problem. If we give it a little rub with this scourer, it's completely unwatchable. Big scratches like that are very rare, but any little nick or speck of dust can ruin your movie experience. There's nothing worse than a big piece of dirt on your hero's face. With digital technology, that just doesn't happen. So if digital is so good, why is it not favoured in Hollywood? The industry, believe it or not, is, is very conservative, and so a lot of filmmakers are clinging on to what they see as the art form, and that's creating film. But in reality, it's just a change of palette, and it opens up many more possibilities. And one of these possibilities is new and improved 3D movies. Everyone remembers their first 3D movie. Maybe it was a drive-in. Most likely it was some cheesy horror flick where you had to wear these to see the big monster jump out at you. Sure, it was fun, but you wouldn't want to do it every time you saw a movie. What James Cameron is doing is something completely different. His 3D experience is so good, it's not like watching a movie, it's like watching the world go by. In the real world, we see in 3D because our two eyes give us a slightly different view of the same object, in this case, a pen. The information from each eye is sent to the brain where it is combined. The slight difference between the images gives the depth of 3D. It's been about five years now uh, that uh, he explained to me that he wanted to build a holy grail type camera that can shoot 3D and 2D. Vince Pace is the director of photography. His approach has been to design a dual camera system that mimics human sight as closely as possible. And I think that's what separates our approach from standard um, or old time film methods is we are really creating a human machine. The old 3D filmmakers had two cameras set widely apart. Vince brought the lenses together so their centers were about the same distance apart as our eyes. But to do that, he had to separate the lenses from their high-definition video recorder backs. Impossible to do with film cameras. Here we have two high-definition digital video cameras without their lenses on. 
As you can see, they're too bulky to put close enough together so that the lenses are the same distance apart as the human eyes. So what Pace Tech have done is separate the lenses from the camera bodies, and they've connected them with this fiber optic cable. Separating the lenses from the camera body is the equivalent of separating our eyes from our brain. And it wouldn't be possible without the latest fiber optic technology. Now the fiber system is very unique. It's never been done before. When you look at this cable, which is the fiber optic, yep. this really, to it. yeah, and most of this that you see here is tactical fiber Kevlar jacketing wow. to protect it. Right. But the actual cable that's doing the transmission is the size of a thick human hair. So essentially, these are the eyes and the brain somewhere out the back. <laughs> yes, exactly. Next step in the 3D riddle is to make the cameras act like eyes, able to focus on different subjects at different distances. When we look around the world, our eyes are constantly adjusting for different focus points. For example, when I look at the tree in the distance, my pupils are straight ahead. But if I want to focus on the pen in the foreground, my pupils automatically come closer together. When I move towards camera, you can see the angle of the lens is changing, just as our eyes do as we go from looking at something in the distance to something up close. This means when the images from the two cameras are overlaid to create 3D, our eyes don't need to compensate for any errors in convergence. And that leaves your brain free to enjoy the movie you should be embracing the storyline and the, and the experience. And, and if you're trying to correct with your brain my mistakes, mm -hmm. then it's an un uncomfortable viewing experience for you. So that's the theory, but what does new generation 3D really look like? I'm at James Cameron's private screening room, and I'm about to watch the new 3D for the very first time. I'm very excited because this is meant to be phenomenal. The only downside is we're not able to show you what it's really like. That's because you're watching me on 2D technology. It's sort of like trying to explain colour picture on a black and white TV. But I'm going to give it a go anyway, because for all you moviegoers out there, this is going to change the way you experience the cinema. Now you still have to wear glasses, but not daggy red and green numbers. These have polarised filters, which allow the eyes to process the 3D images. This is amazing. It's like the ugliest fish in the world. It feels like I'm in there. I can reach out and touch it. Oh my God, look at that split. It's sort of like the old 3D, but the depth is phenomenal. It's like looking into a real picture. It's like, it's like being there. It feels like someone's opened a massive window and I'm watching real life. Go and three, two, one. New digital cinemas are now opening up worldwide in readiness for the new wave of 3D movies. 